Okay, number six, I'm looking at it, just, you know, one step at a time. I'm gonna start writing it down. And I write, write this down, eh, a lot of copying, minus two x and minus two x y to the minus two. And I'm gonna write this one down over here as four x to the minus two y minus two. Now I wanna warn you against this. What did I just do? I just copied the problem. That's unproductive. I'm gonna erase this over here. A lot of students will do that though. What I'm gonna do is I wanna just do these two guys here. I'll worry about the other guy later. What are you gonna get there? Well, minus two times minus two is four. X times X is X squared. And Y to the minus two is just Y to the minus two. Now, the next thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna look at this over here, and I gotta put a one in the four. I use rules of exponents. Four, one times minus two is minus two. We'll take care of that later. Let's see, X, well, minus two times minus two is plus four, and then I get Y to the minus two. And again, that's a Y, that's a one there. Let's put that down. And again, I'm using rules of exponents. This is a one. So what do you get? I'm gonna add the exponents. It's four to one times four to the minus two. It's a commutation. I would get four to the minus one, right? This is done. Let's do the x's now. What do you get? X squared, x four, that gives me x six. By the way, that's a minus one there. All right, let's do the y's. What do you get? Y minus four. Convention is we don't like negative exponents. So I'll write this as x6. 4 to the minus 1 is 4 in the bottom to the first power. I'm not going to write the first power down. And then y to the 4. These are problematic. Errors do occur. I want to point out, please look at the key to make sure you're matching what we say it should be. x6, 4, y4. We're good to go to the next question.